In this lesson, I'm going to talk about how the elite use you as a battery to manifest their desires without you even knowing it. Hello and welcome to day number 20 of the 30 Keys of Wealth. The 30 Keys of Wealth is a free course here on YouTube that will teach you how to use ancient hermetic principles and techniques to manifest money and riches into your life over the course of 30 days. If you have stumbled upon this lesson without having watched any of the previous lessons, please make sure to go and do that first. There is a link in the description that will take you to a complete playlist containing all the 30 lessons in the correct order. Alright, so, if you've been following the homework closely, and you have been putting all the lessons into practice, then currently you are well on your way to manifesting a whole lot more money this year. But could you manifest more? Is there something that could be holding you back? As I talked about in the previous lessons, you are an influence on reality around you. You are certainly not the only influence. There are other powers and other beings who might want different things than you. Remember the saying, where attention goes, energy flows. And it seems that in the last 10 to 20 years, people's attention span has grown shorter and shorter. They are less and less able to focus on their own lives, and their attention is more and more drawn away by exterior forces. And this is a key difference between the rich and the poor. The poor are truly not in control of their own attention, and thus also their own energy. Whereas the rich are firmly in control of their own attention, and also their own energy. But because of this, many of the truly rich and wealthy people in the world are not just in control of their own attention, but in control of the attention of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and even millions and billions of people around the world. Now, ask yourself, where is your attention going throughout the day? Now, perhaps for my subscribers, the answer would differ from most people. But if you were to ask most people, most people are busy with things that happen on social media. And, of course, things the mainstream news tells them. They want to stay informed. That is what they tell themselves. But really, what is happening is their attention is being focused on those that simply control the social media companies and the media companies. And this is how many of the rich and influential people in the world are able to manifest massive desires. This is how billionaires and trillion dollar companies are made. If you are not in charge of your own mind, your own attention, and thus also your own energy, others will use it. Others will be in charge of your mind and your attention and thus also your energy. And usually they will not use that energy to manifest things that benefit you, but rather themselves. Now, it used to be that most organized religions were in charge of people's minds and attention. But these days, it tends to be social media and mainstream media companies. They tell people what to think, what to focus on, and what to believe. And remember that... Even if you are a very skeptical person, perhaps you even call yourself a truther or a conspiracy theorist, they still get to you. They are still able to manipulate your energy. Because it doesn't matter if you focus on wanting something or not wanting something. The only thing that matters is focus. And a wonderful example of this was the United States election in 2016. Where, as a matter of fact, probably around 90% of the media attention was negative towards Donald Trump. And yet still he won the elections. Because people were afraid he would win. And that's why he won. And both Donald Trump and the massive media corporations massively benefited from this. Trump became president. And if you look at the earnings of many of the mainstream media and also social media companies, you can see that they made a lot more money when Donald Trump was president. And that is because of the principle of polarity. When people are polarized, they release a lot of energy. They become engaged in whatever fight they are fighting for. And this allows the elite, people in charge of these billion dollar corporations, media conglomerations, social media companies, to direct your energy. Now, of course, you can use the same principles they use to manifest wealth and riches for yourself. And I don't mean this in arguably an unethical way. 
like many of the social media and mainstream media companies do. You see, when you form a company or business, the real power and potency comes from the fact that many people are now manifesting the same goal. They are putting their mind, their mental energy towards creating a profitable business. And as I talked about in the last lesson, that can be extremely powerful and potent. And if you pay attention, you will find that the most powerful and most influential and also the wealthiest and richest people on the world are those who are able to influence the minds of the most people. There is a reason why so many of the social media companies really quickly became the largest and most powerful companies in the world. It is because they are directly able to manipulate the attention and focus and thus also the life energy of billions of people around the world. Remember, in one of the earlier lessons, I told you how your energy output is limited. You do not have, in your current human state, access to unlimited amounts of energy. Therefore, you must be very careful how you invest your energy. The rich never waste their energy, and the poor almost always do. The best way to begin to take control back of your own attention span and energy is to really stop watching mainstream media and stop scrolling around aimlessly on social media. Of course, social media can be a wonderful tool, but unless you are using it for your work or to make money or for business or for learning purposes like these videos, I would strongly, strongly urge you to get rid of social media. I myself have no private social media accounts of any kind. The only thing I have is this YouTube channel and of course the Twitter account associated with this YouTube channel. But all I do there is I provide a service. I am doing something. I am not aimlessly scrolling around, checking things, putting things in my mind that don't serve me. Really consider anything that you are consuming mentally as a diet, a mental diet. You don't want to be eating junk food and you also don't want to be consuming junk information. And I know some of you like to be informed of what is going on around the world, but then at least don't watch mainstream news because they use a lot of tricks in order to draw more energy from you when you actually watch something. If you just want to stay informed, I would say perhaps twice or three times a week, just read a newspaper online and preferably read financial news because that is generally the most objective based news and generally deals the most in pure facts. And so that is also your homework. Take a very critical look at what you are consuming. How much social media are you using? Are you using apps like TikTok? That's a great way to waste a lot of energy and time on useless crap. Remember, the wealthy don't waste time and they don't waste energy. Where attention goes, energy flows. And I will keep repeating that because it is such an important key to remember. If you are participating in the full 30-day course and you found this lesson valuable, please consider leaving a like on this video. It helps a lot in making sure YouTube shows this video to other people who might be interested in this. If you have any questions related to this lesson, post them down below in the comments. I will read all comments and reply to all questions related to this 30-day course. You can watch the next lesson by clicking on this next video or the playlist or by checking the links in the description. Thank you for watching.